We became friends first, then we started dating, and then of course we fell in love. And now I'm officially getting married. Are we rolling? All right, that was, I just went off on a tangent there. You could use all that, but here we go. All right, guys, first of all, I just wanna say thank you for tuning in to Jeff and Jordan TV. I think Jordan has been crushing it the last five, six, seven, eight episodes. So I'm really proud of her. I'm really excited about this new project that we're starting. And I know some of you out there have been waiting for my big debut. Well, wait no longer. Here it is, and those of you who really don't like me, well, you should be on another channel. Oh, for God's sake, turn it off! Turn it off! Anyways, I wanna start off by kinda just catching everybody up that might not have watched Big Brother and kinda my backstory. I'm 37 years old right now. When I was on Big Brother originally, I was 31. That was kind of like, um, you know, my big break, if you wanna call it that. I grew up in a town called Norwich, Illinois, which is right outside Chicago, surrounded by Chicago and O'Hare. I went to Ridgewood High School, which is in Norwich, and then I went on to play college football at Aurora University. Ended up with a marketing degree. Wasn't sure what I wanted to do with my life. Kinda got into some sales, did a little commercial, some modeling. There it is, Magnum. Beautiful. Fast forward 10 years after I graduated, 31 years old, I end up on Big Brother. That's kind of the gist of things up to that point. And how I got on Big Brother was kind of weird too. I went with a friend for some drinks one Saturday afternoon. I did the live audition, if any of you are familiar with Big Brother. Went into casting and they just kept calling me back, blah, blah, blah. I ended up on Big Brother. So it was kind of a bang, bang thing. Kind of my big ticket where I'm at right now. Big ticket? Big break, I should say. That was weird. But let's start off for you Big Brother fans. My first impressions of actually the whole thing that started with Big Brother because it's still, I mean, it was six years ago, but it seems like it was yesterday. I remember this is, okay, now we're going on stage. This is right before we entered a Big Brother house. Actually, and for those of you that don't know, Big Brother's filmed on a set, on a lot. It's not at a house, which I thought it was. It's at a lot. No way. No way. So I remember waiting outside. You know, they call us one at a time. You finally get to meet your cast. You're looking around, judge, sizing everybody up, who's who. And to be perfectly honest with you, I didn't notice Jordan right away. I didn't notice anybody. I was kind of in a shock, like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm about to go in this Big Brother house. They line us all up out stage, on stage. Julie Chen comes out. It's kind of a surreal moment, you know? So I remember just looking around. We all get in the house. I am one of the last ones in the house, and so is Jordan. So we go to our bedrooms. We, everyone has to race in, find a room. We go to our bedrooms. I'm the last person in the house, and I do remember that because I open a door and I'm like, Last one in, last one out. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out that way. But anyways, that's what I remember saying to myself when I walked in. I go in the bedrooms, there's no more beds, but there is a double bed. Yes! Dude, so this better not get filled with water. <laughs> we get the plastic room? Are you guys gonna double up? Yeah, we'll double Dude, up. You can have that one. Let's do it. But Jordan was kind enough to say, hey, you know what? You could take my bed, I'll sleep with, I think it was Lydia, for those of you who are Big Brother fans. I believe it was Lydia and Michelle was the other girl in the room. And they were nice enough to give me my own bed. And right away I thought to myself, hey, these girls are great. I know the game's all about like, you know, forming an alliance with people and forming that bond. And right, right off the bat, I think that was my original alliance, was Michelle, Lydia, and Jordan. So after we get our beds, that takes all about two or three minutes. Everyone's running around the house. You go back in the living room and introduce yourself to the whole cast, everybody who's in the house. So we all sit down and I do remember I was sitting right next to Jordan, which is kind of strange looking back at the time. And the only thing that I do remember is that I have a cousin named Jordan and that was kind of like my in. Yeah, I have awesome game, right? So I was like, hey, I'm Jeff. And she's like, my name's Jordan. I'm like, hey, I got a cousin named Jordan. You know, like what a dork. What do they look like, Jimmy? Dorks. <laughs> they look like a couple of dorks. <laughs> but anyways, I didn't know what else to say. You know, you're just meeting these people for the first time. And you know, I'm kind of a big first impression guy. So there's a couple of people in the house I'm looking around. I wasn't really, I mean, I'm looking at, you know, who's cute, who's what, who's not. But at this point, honestly, my head's like, 
what's going on, who are these people, who could I trust, who can I not trust, and more than anything, I was there to have fun. You know, it wasn't all game. Some people were game right away, I remember, and I was there to kind of enjoy the moment, and I think Jordan was too. That's where we kind of hit it off. I'm so glad you're here. If you weren't, I would be bored. Because I don't even know how I, how me and you even started like being. Me neither. I think because we shared a room and we'd stay up late at night. As you know, day two, day three, day four goes on, me and Jordan are hanging out more and more and I think what the house thought, we were separating ourselves, maybe from the house. I'm not sure, I can't speak what for the others, what they were thinking in the house, but I remember me and Jordan were getting closer and closer each day, leading up to the big day where we really bonded, which was day seven. Day seven, for some reason, the house explodes like it tends to do in the Big Brother house, and the whole house is against me. And I kind of take myself out of the situation. I know Jordan's my friend. She's so sweet. I don't want to get her in trouble. I don't want to get any of my other friends in the house in trouble. I remember going in this room. I think it was, there was bottles everywhere. I think it was like the recycling room. I mean, my memory's coming back now. And I was sitting by myself and I'm like, man, I thought I was kind of a cool guy. You know, like, you know, I was kind of, I played football and things like that, but man, turns out I'm a huge loser and nobody likes me. Are you in loser denial or something? I had a bad case of loser denial myself. Loser? I ain't no loser. I was the king of this high school. And this is after day seven. I'm having this big breakthrough in my head. I'm like, man, what a huge dork. Then in walks Jordan. <laughs> Not coincidentally, she just walked in. So I'm like, Jordan, you listen, you got to go outside, take yourself outside, don't be involved with me anymore. I think I ruined my chances, I don't want to ruin yours. And Jordan, as sweet as she is, goes, if you got my back, I got your back. I almost did her accent there, I didn't want to, because it was a special moment. But she's like, if you got my back, I got your back. And I'm like, and I really felt a connection at that moment. That's kind of where things changed between friendship and like, it was trust, it was some liking there, like the emotions were stirring, definitely. So I'm like, this girl doesn't care about the money, she just wants a friend and to have fun in the house, and I feel like I can really, really trust her. So it was day seven that I told Jordan, no matter what happens, I got your back from here on out. And that promise lasts till today. Go get yourself some tissues. Are you crying? No. Are you crying? Oh. There's no crying in baseball! It was very emotional for me too. But let's fast forward from day seven. I know there were some crazy times, a lot of ups and downs, especially with me and Russell. And for, the, for those of you who don't know, me and Russell are actually good friends right now. So everything that was inside the house squashed, but uh, we could catch up with all that later. Let's go to when there was about six people left in the house. We started with 13, I believe, on season 11, I believe. And when there was about six people left in the house, I kind of pride myself on, maybe it's from this moment, on riding right here. I try never to get too high in life, never get too down on myself or any situation. And at that point, I gotta tell you, I was riding a little too high. And as people know, when you ride too high in a Big Brother house, what happens? You're out the next week. Got him! I got him! Great kid, don't get cocky. So when it's down to the final five, I thought I had a really good chance, but it turns out, Earlier in the week, I couldn't pass some of these crazy challenges that they had. I think it was one with some aliens and the faces get mixed up and I, I yada, 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 I didn't win and uh, they got me out. So I was fifth to last on that one. Before I left, I kind of knew, if you know Big Brother, if you know the game, I kind of knew I was going, so I had some days left with Jordan to try to give her all the knowledge that I had about the game, which wasn't a lot, but I tried to count certain things in the house. Just give her as many tips as I could because when it comes down to the final three, sometimes these things come up in the questions. So I knew I'm going home. I really, 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 really want Jordan to win. I'm pulling for her, but I don't know how she's gonna do on her own. After, I think I was gone like day 60 something. This is a very emotional time because you're bonded with that person. Jordan was my rock in that house. And to know that I'm walking out and I'm not gonna see her for a couple days and she's gonna be on her own in its game, it was, it was it was an emotional time. Again, I keep using the word emotional, but that's how you that's how you are in Big Brother. The outside shuts down. My family, my friends, I love them to death, but your mind goes to a different place when you're in that house. And the place it went was, it was me and Jordan against the world, I mean, that's a little drastic, dramatic, but you know, it was me and Jordan against the, the house. 
So I'm really pulling for Jordan and I go to the jury house and I'm trying to make friends in there, whatever, I'm pulling for Jordan. Finale day comes, Jordan's still in it. I cannot believe my eyes. She made it to the final three. Oh wait, let me back up. Can I back up a second? Okay, cool. Cause now everything's coming back to me. I remember when I actually got evicted from the house, I kind of fast forward through that. I know I, was, I, I saw it coming. Kevin did kind of throw a stone there. I remember that, play that clip. I'm sorry, Jordan, to have to do this, but I'm gonna have to vote to evict your friend, Jeff. Nice desperate try, you're out of here. Jeff, it is official, you are evicted. Yep, he threw that stone. But I did walk out of the house gracefully, and when I walked out, it was the weirdest thing. And I swear, I look to my right, I'm slapping people's hands because I watched the tape of what people do when they exit. So I slapped someone's hand and everyone's like, hey, Jeff, and I looked over and I was like, Oh, hey, how's it going, man? And I, I used to live in California. I came out here to do some modeling, you know, when I was like 24. I'd say, what a loser. I came out here to try modeling and acting and I was unsuccessful. So yeah, not a model. So I thought I knew this guy from like back in LA. So I'm like, oh, hey man, who is this guy? And I have all these emotions. I've just lost $500,000. And then someone's like, hey, Jeff, man. And I was like, Oh my God, I think I know that guy from college. You know, I'm like, who is that guy? And then Julie Chen's right there. So I'm like, hey, hey, Julie. And she, I'm like looking around at the commercial break and Julie's like, what are you, what are you looking at? I'm like, I don't know, I, thought, I think I work with that guy or I went to college with that guy. And she's like, Jeff, they've been watching you all summer. They know you. And I was like, what? And I kind of like waved and I had that moment where the whole crowd's like going crazy. And you want to talk about a big head. I kind of got a big head. I was like, hey everybody. And then they just whisked me right off. They're like, that's enough. They took me right out, of, right out of there. They're like, that's enough. So they took me out. Ladies and gentlemen, Reggie has left the building. Thank you and good night. Then I went to the jury house. Now, there you go. Fast forward. So now it's finale night. I'm back on that same stage. I look to my left and I see Peyton, her brother and her mom for the very first time. And I know who they are because she won HOH and I saw the pictures. So I knew after what I just saw that she was getting rid of Kevin. Kevin comes walking out that door. It's her and Natalie left in the house. I know from being in a jury house that if this is the scenario, she's got a really, really good chance to win. So I look over to Peyton and Peyton's like, hey, hey Jeff, it's me Peyton. I'm like, yeah, I know buddy. I'm like, Jordan's gonna win. She's gonna win. He's like, hey, I'm Peyton. I'm like, yeah, I know. Pey I'm Jeff. Jordan's gonna win. She won the money. This is my mom. <laughs> and I was like, oh well, don't just be surprised, I guess. But I do remember that moment. It stuck out like a, a sore thumb. So as it turns out, the votes go down. Jordan ends up winning. She walks out that door and she did talk about this on her segment of the YouTube channel. She did give, I thought she gave me a push. So Jordan comes out. She's riding high, she just won a half million dollars. In the back of my mind, there might be a sad song playing and a little tear coming down because I didn't win. You know, maybe I was a little jealous. I'm just kidding. So I go out to give her a hug and she was so excited about getting out of the house, seeing her mom. I think she gave me like that forearm shiver, you know what I mean? Like, and I kind of just dove at the air and gave a hug to nobody. Can I have a hug? So <laughs> I remember it like that. I don't think she remembers it like that, which she said. And there's a lot of other things that I'm gonna to touch on that she said that maybe I don't see it the same way, but we're gonna get there. So Jordan wins the money. I take home America's favorite player, which I couldn't believe either. I mean, thank you guys for who voted out there. That was unbelievable to get that. And so we're kind of like the two people who won. I know Natalie took home uh, $50,000. That was cool too, but you know, I took home some money. Jordan really needed that money at the time. You know, it, she wasn't in dire straits or anything, but things weren't so great at home from what she told me on the show. And uh, you know what? Good things happen to good people. That's all I could say. And you know, fate or God or whatever you believe in works in mysterious ways. And I believe in things like that. And. Uh, you know, there was no other way it could have turned out than Jordan win that money, me meeting Jordan on the show, and that's just the first part of our journey.